Hey guys, it is your girl Cece. I'm C My Curls, and I am here with another wash day routine. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's jump right into this wash day. So this is what my hair is looking like, just wet. It is coming straight out of a wash and go. And today we're going to actually be using a new shampoo that I've been already heard great things about. It's the Mylar Organics Rosemary Mint Shampoo. I've already used the deep conditioner from that line and I love it and I can say the same thing about this shampoo. This is like right in between cleansing and moisturizing. It got my hair super clean but it did not leave my hair stripped and that's all I can ask for because I need my hair nice and clean because of the dandruff that I do with it. <laughs> so I also alternate this with my As I Am Dandruff Shampoo. That is normally what I use to treat my um, dandruff but it is a moisturizing shampoo so sometimes I need to just go ahead and clean my scalp and my hair so once I work this through both sections of my hair twice I'm going to rinse it out and you know how it goes <laughs> All right, so this is what my hair is looking like after two washes. It looks so good, my curls are popping. That haircut did wonders for my hair. But yeah, I'm just checking to make sure my scalp is clean and we're nice and clean. So we're going in with the As I Am Dandruff Conditioner. If I don't use the shampoo, I use the conditioner. I love this stuff, As I Am sponsor me, lol. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and break my hair into two sections again and start working this conditioner through my hair. I love this conditioner. Um, both of their shampoos and their conditioner sting my eyes, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the medication that they have for dandruff in the actual um, product itself, so it doesn't bother me too much, but that's just the thing that I will tell you now, it does burn, but for my dandruff, it knocks it out. Like, when I'm having a bad dandruff flare, like I'm having right now, this is what I'm going to use to get my scalp back under control and happy. I'm going to go ahead and detangle with it. It has really good slip. Honestly, this conditioner is great. Like, it leaves my hair super moisturized. Um, not too defined, I'd say. The shampoo leaves my hair pretty defined. But not so much the moisturized as in just, it just really just leaves it, you know, soft, detangled. And then most importantly, my scalp feels great afterwards. So after I work this through my hair, detangle with a wide tooth comb as well because I can't get my roots with that brush and you want to make sure that you are detangling from roots to ends because I don't got time for tangles I got too much hair it is too much okay so I gotta use two tools just to make sure I get in there so once I've worked a comb and a brush through my hair several times I go ahead and just set this section aside you guys are gonna see me oh yeah I work that conditioner with the medication into my scalp so that my scalp can reap the benefits of that lovely conditioner doing this does not add buildup I can't put oil on my scalp but I can put conditioner on my scalp so yeah that is my tip after that I just go ahead and put it away I will do the same to the other section and then I usually wash my body before I rinse out my regular conditioner and head to deep conditioning so this is after I've rinsed out this section. I've already applied deep conditioner to the other section. So we're just about to do the last section together. So I'm rinsing out the conditioner right now. And that's just what my hair is looking like. Like I said, it's not super defined. So using the added hair products, I have a whole review on this. They were sent this to me in like a PR package and it's a completely vegan line. It's non-scented in case you're sensitive to scents. I love this stuff. My hair eats it like it's like nobody's business. It's a cheap butter mask. So the cheap butter is known in, I'm pretty sure it's African, but don't quote me, but it's supposed to help promote hair growth and thickening and all the stuff that you want your hair to do essentially. And since I'm about to go into a protective style, I want to use this just to make sure that my hair is getting some really good nutrients before I put it away for a while. So you guys are gonna see me breaking my sections in half 
and making sure that there's conditioner on my roots. I suggest this to everybody with any types of hair type, but especially if you have thick hair. So that way you make sure all of your hair is getting what it needs. If you have frizzy roots, it's often because your products aren't getting to your roots. So make sure you're getting your roots. So I'm putting in my DIY oil. If you don't know how I make that, go ahead and check out my Instagram, see my curls. And then we're gonna go ahead and just comb and twist it up. Alright, so now that we've applied deep conditioner to all of my hair, I take out my twist so that my hair can go ahead and start clumping to its natural curl. And then I put on a shower cap and I'm going to go ahead and sit under the dryer. So this is what my hair is looking like after I've rinsed out my conditioner. It's defined, it's soft, it's moisturized, it's happy, it feels strong. And the shrinkage is actually low-key crazy. But like I told you guys, I'm going into a protective style, so I went ahead and I blew out my hair after this. And we're about to do a quick lift check because even though you guys couldn't see my starting point, I just wanted to update you guys on where I am with my haircut. Even though I still need to get it even out, my hair is growing like crazy, guys. So, in a second... <laughs> okay, CC, we get it. <laughs> So my hair is all blown out and it honestly doesn't even look like I cut it. <laughs> like if we're being completely honest to me, it did not look like I cut it. But we're just about to do a quick little length check. Um, like I said, unfortunately I did not get good footage, but I'm already like back at my collarbone. I feel like I'll be back at armpit length in a few months. Honestly, maybe next month with the way my hair is growing. I do take hair growth gummies and I also take vitamins. And on my chin, I'm already past my chin again. If you look, I'm pointing at where I remember the last time I checked it was. So when I cut it, I cut it at my lip ball. So my hair grew at least an inch within the past like month or two. And it's kind of crazy because I've never seen my hair grow this fast. And yeah, that's just a back piece this time. But I'm impressed. This is once again your sign to cut off your damaged ends because my hair grew like a week. So go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. I will check you guys out in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Rock me, baby.